All right, let's determine the domain and the range of this relation over here. And I'll get started by just graphing the relation by plotting all the points. So we start with negative 2,4. Actually, right before we get started, I'll just write, just label everything, label the axes. And here we have negative 2,4. So x is negative 2, y is 4. x is 3, y is 5. Here, x is 0, y is 6. Let me see, did I count right? Yeah, I counted right. And negative 2, comma, 5. Right there. All right, those four points are, um, they form a relation. And that's it. Now we want to determine the domain. And what is the domain? The domain is basically uh, the all the values of x that exist in the relation. And in this case, there are only three values, right? The negative 2, the 3, the 0, and the negative 2 is a, re a repeat, uh, <coughs> sorry, a repeat of just this negative 2. So that is our domain, and that's it. Let me just show it to you graphically. So that's it. And here's how we're going to write it. We open these, this type of brackets over here. I did a somewhat okay job at drawing it. That's slightly better. Then we write x in a line. This means such that x is equal to negative 2, 0, and 3. And that's just telling us that x won't take any other values. If you were to pick, for example, negative 5 over here, there wouldn't be any points or anything that would be part of the relation. Okay, so that's the domain in red. Now let's do the range. The range is basically the same thing but for y. And what are the y values that exist here? We have 4, we have 5, and we have 6. And that's it. So the, the <clears throat> sorry, the range will be y such that y is equal to 4, 5, and 6. By the way, there are many different ways to show the domain and range. I just picked a popular way of showing it. So, well, hope this made sense. And I hope you try other questions as well to get some practice.